Matt Lucas, welcome to Thank Five you. Minutes With. Thank you. I've always wanted five minutes with you. <laughs> so finally, no. I've got those minutes. I would like to know, before we start the minutes, whether yeah. you would be prepared to give me an award, because you have got a new show that you're presenting. Yes. The Matt Lucas Awards. That's right. Where you actually give out awards. I give out the awards that other shows don't give. So it could be um, Smuggest Nation of People, Most Moorish Food, Most Baffling Campfire Song. That was one of our awards. Um, would you like an award? Yes, please. All That's right, well, what I'm angry for here. Let's see how the interview goes, and then I'll think of, a, of an award to give you at the end. Okay, so shall we start? That might or might not be a good thing. <laughs> yeah, let's start. Let's do it. But let's I'm going to ask you to count us down, okay? okay? So I'm going to pop the battery in, and then I'm going to say, could you please say five, four, three, two, one? Yes. And then we'll go, okay? All right. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Do it. Say it. Start. Could you please describe yourself? in a sentence or two? Um, I'm a man. I am currently carrying more weight than I ought to. Um, I like chocolate How too much <laughs> as a consequence. And I enjoy Arsenal Football Club. Do you get to go to the games? Occasionally, yes. How did Little Britain change your life? Little Britain changed my life because uh, for a start, me and David were on TV, which we dreamed of but never presumed could happen and actually it took us ages to actually get a meeting with the then head of BBC Two, like years to get a meeting with her and then it went on and we just thought it would be a nice little show that would run for a series but then now it's on in 140 countries around the world so it means that I go to countries I've never been to and people know me and know my work. You had actually been on TV yourself before that? Yes I'd worked mainly with Reeves and Mortimer. And do you feel that your life, in your career, somehow you've been followed around by catchphrases? Yes, to some extent. Yeah. Like, what are the schools, George Dawes, was what that one? Schools, George Dawes. And from I've never Shooting ever Stars? Thought, yeah, from Shooting Stars. And I, people said that to me in the street, and I never could ever think of a funny answer, and I still can't. And people would say, what are the schools, George Dawes, at the bus stop, and I'd say, I don't know, Mark has four and Ulrika has two. Just Which isn't really, it's not that entertaining, is it, out of context? Tell me a little bit more about Little Britain. What were you, looking back at it, what mm -hmm. were you trying to achieve with that show? Um, we wanted to do a kind of comic book come to life. And we wanted to create characters that were very vivid and colourful. And we wanted to uh, create characters that people had a warmth and affection for, even when they were villainous, like Marjorie. And um, in some cases, I think we wanted to reflect how we saw uh, society. Um, but most of all, we just wanted to be funny. Do you feel that you were working with stereotypes? And if so, are there risks attached with that? I think sometimes people assume that because you do a character like Vicky Pollard, who's working class, that um, uh, you're making a statement about all teenage girls. Uh, but we weren't. The, our characters uh, were genu generally just one single people, as when, it were. When are you at your most creative? Do you like working in teams? Yeah, I love collaborating with people. I obviously love working with David and feel very blessed. You know that uh, I've enjoyed this long relationship with the same person. You met at the we, National We met Youth in 1990 at the National Youth Theatre. And there are other people I work with on, on the Matt Lucas Awards. I'm working again with Ashley Blaker, who produced Little Britain on radio, who used to produce a show that David and I did called Rock Profile, and who I was actually at school with. And uh, so it's really nice to be working with him again. Do you prefer radio or television? Um, I like both. I think radio is a much more intimate medium, and television, obviously, um, if you know, you can you can't really earn a living on radio. I found doing shows like Little Britain. I remember doing the first series of Little Britain, and David and I each got paid two thousand pounds for writing and performing. But it had taken us five months, so I worked out that we were paid a hundred pounds a week each to write and perform that show. Do you get more satisfaction out of writing or the performance? Usually writing, uh, to be honest. Does acting challenge you? Yes, because I'm not a very good actor. I think I'm an all right performer, but I don't think I'm a very good actor. So I'm always struggling and feeling very self-conscious and feeling very fraudulent when I act.
Could you tell me what it's like being on a stage in front of lots of people? Being on a stage in front of lots of people is where I feel at home. I feel more confident on a stage than I do walking down the street, which is incredibly pretentious to say that, but it's also absolutely true. Has fame had a big impact on your life? Yes, completely changed uh, how uh, uh, people behave towards me. Do you crave recognition? Uh, uh, no. If you could have the success without the fame, would you take it? I think it would be churlish to uh, moan about any aspect. Um, and that's what a lot of people do, and I, so I'm not going to do that. Am I right that you have alopecia? Because it's because it's a package. Yes, you're right that I have alopecia. Uh, was that difficult as a boy, I, I, as a teenager? I, yes, as a, as a child, I tried to make sure that it didn't define me. Um, how are we doing for time? That, that uh, Lucas. We did well. It's five minutes. We did well. I, yes, I wanted to make sure it didn't define me, and so that made me want to do something else and be something else. Hence, Little Britain and things like that. And here we are talking for five minutes as a consequence. It's award time. Yeah. Awards time, please. Uh, I think you win the award, Lucas Award for most diligent interviewer. Do you think, like, the BBC will see this and think you're so good that they'll start giving you six-minute interviews? That is what I'm hoping, just really? to just sort of upgrade to it. To upgrade it yes. in increments of a minute. What would you do if you only had, um, instead of five minutes, five seconds? Let's do a five-second I would second say, interview. are you happy? Let's do a five-second okay. interview. Go on. Five? Could you count down to yeah. the five-second okay. interview, Five, please? four, three, two, one. Are you happy? Am I happy? There's an interesting question. Oh, the bell's gone. Time. <laughs> there you go. Shall we stop now? Let's stop.